Hey guys, Joe here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Sites to point to your domain. I'll be showing you the Google Domains method and the GoDaddy method. The GoDaddy instructions works the same way if you bought your domains from NetFirms, one in one Register.com, and other domain providers. Thank you for clicking this video and I hope you learned something new here. Please subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you came here for my other videos. Let's begin. So to start, click the cog wheel and select custom URL. This is where we're going to point our domain. So type your domain here starting with www.yourdomain.com. I'm going to use a .ca domain. This works with .com as well as any other top level domain. The first thing you'll encounter is this error message that the URL is not verified. Click verify your ownership and it will open the Google Webmaster Central. As you can see, it already knows that we bought the domain from GoDaddy. What we need to do now is add a TXT record to our GoDaddy account. Now let's copy this whole thing and let's go to GoDaddy.com. Select your domain and then scroll down and you'll see Manage DNS. Click that. Then you'll see your DNS records. Scroll down and click Add. For type, look for TXT. Under host, you want to put the at symbol. And for text value, put the one we copied from the previous window and paste it on this line. For TTL, just leave that to one hour and then click save. We've now added a TXT record. This could take five minutes to an hour to take effect. Once you've waited enough time, go back to Webmaster Central. Look on the bottom left and you'll see verify. Click that button. And if all the settings are correct, it will give you this message. If you click too early and it's still not verified, click the back button and then wait a few more minutes to verify it. Now let's go back to our Google Sites, erase the domain, and then enter it again. It will verify it again, and you'll see the check mark, then click Assign. Now let's go back to our domain provider, in this case, GoDaddy.com. Add a CNAME by clicking the Add button. On my case, I have multiple ones. If you do have multiple ones, edit the one with the name value of www. Click the pencil to edit it. These are the settings you need to add. Host is www. Erase what's on points to and replace it with this line. Leave TTL to one hour, then click save. Then if you have other CNAME records over there, what you wanna do is delete those. Then scroll down and look for forwarding. Click Add Under Domain, and then forward to HTTPS. Currently, our website only points to www.macguides.ca. Since most people will probably just type macguides.ca without the www, then we'll need to create this forwarding rule. Enter your full domain here, including the www. For forward type, leave that to permanent 301. And then for settings, put that to forward with masking. Then you'll be asked to create a title, description, and keywords. Enter all of those, and then click Save. These settings would take about an hour to eight hours to take effect. While we're waiting for that to propagate, let's go back to Google Sites and add another domain. You can add up to five domains here. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use Google Domains if you bought your domain from Google. Enter your domain, including the www. And since my Google Sites and Google Domains are on the same email address, it already verified my domain. If you get the check mark, click the word Assign. If you didn't get the check mark, you need to verify your domain just like how it showed at the beginning of this video. Now let's go to our Google Domains to add a CNAME record. Select your domain and then select DNS. And then scroll all the way down and look for custom resource record. Under this field, type www, then select CNAME for type, leave TTL to one hour, and for domain name, enter this line. Then click Add. Then you'll get this message on top that it will take 48 hours to complete. That's normal, click Dismiss. You should see synthetic records. Under Subdomain Forward, enter the Add symbol in this field, and for Destination, Put your full domain, including the www. We need to create this forwarding since most people would just type the domain without the www. 
ensure the permanent redirect is on 301, and then forward path, and enable SSL. And then click add. You'll get this message that it will take 48 hours to complete. Sometimes you might wait this long, but most of the time, it should work within the hour. A few moments later. I've waited enough time, so I should be able to test my domain. So first, we're going to test our GoDaddy domain. And that works if someone types www.macguides.ca. Now let's test the other domain by typing caninternationaltravel.com. And that works if someone types the full website name. Now let's test it without the www. I'm going to open a private browser, then enter my domain. And that works properly. I'm going to test the other domain. And we get this error message, which means that our website is not forwarding properly. Viewers will have to click this button in order to view your website. To fix that, we need to go to cloudflare.com and we'll use their free service. Open a new tab and go to cloudflare.com. If you already have an account, click login. If you don't, click sign up. Then all you have to do is enter an email address and then a password. Then click create account. But since I already have an account, I'm going to log in. Click add site. Enter your domain name here and then click add site. It will show you a bunch of plans, but scroll down and you should see the free version. So click that and then click continue. Then it will scan your domain for DNS records. This could take a few seconds. Once it finishes scanning, it will tell you your A record and your C name record. As you can see, it has the C name that we added. Now click continue. Then it tells us the instructions on what we need to do next. We need to go to our GoDaddy account and replace the name servers. Copy the first name server. Then let's go to GoDaddy and look for name servers. Click the change button. Select enter my own name servers. And then paste that first name server over here. And then go back to Cloudflare and copy the second one. Then paste that on the second name server. Then click save. It will give you this warning. So you want to click yes. Then click continue. Then go back to Cloudflare. It tells us that it might take 24 hours to complete. Click done check name servers. There are a few settings you need to complete. You can finish this later or click get started. For HTTPS rewrites, you want to leave this on. Then click save. Click this on if you want your website to show that it's secure. Then click save. For auto minify, this helps your website to load faster. So click this all on, then click save. Leave broadly on since it speeds up the page loads on your website. Then it gives you all the summaries of your settings. Click finish. And then on the right side, you'll see page rules. Click that. This is where we're going to forward our non www website to our www.domain.com. Click create page rule. On the first field, add your non www domain, add a forward slash, and then an asterisk, just like this. Then on the drop down list, look for forwarding URL. For select status code, select 301. And then for destination URL, put HTTPS and then the www.domain.com. Then click Save and Deploy. Here's our settings. Now let's go back to Cloudflare homepage. Select your domain, scroll down, and click Check Name Servers. And since it's only been a few minutes, our name servers has not been applied yet. So wait a few hours for it to propagate. Most of the time, you will receive an email from Cloudflare that your name servers have been applied. When they are ready, this is how it's going to look like. And this means that our website is now ready. So we can test that. Type your non-WW domain, and that should forward to your www.domain.com. As you can see, the easiest method is by getting Google domains. If you want to learn more about Google domains and why they are so much better than other domain providers, click my video on that. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you.